Hi beautiful people, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is Janine, also known as Jaycella through my Instagram and now YouTube. Today we're going to talk about curly hair for beginners. I remember when I first started my curly hair process in 2016, I was extremely overwhelmed with the abundance of information and products. So I'm basically going to break down the four things that made the biggest difference for me and that have made my hair as healthy and shiny as it is today. So stay tuned. I've used about every product under the sun. I'm not going to sit here and hate on any product because there's some really, really good ones out there. But the ones that I always go back to are Diva Curl products, specifically the No Poo and the One Condition Original line. I always use the styling cream and the Ultra Defining Gel. I can't live without the Ultra Defining Gel. I feel like it gives my hair the most definition and volume. I always go back to those, so those are going to be the products that you see in this video today. My very, very first most important tip for any curly girl that's ready to transition is get a curly hair cut. And by curly hair cut, I mean somebody that is actually certified to cut in curly hair. This is the most transformational thing that you will do, the most educational that, thing that you will do for your hair. And honestly, that was the, the moment where for me, I wish I would have done it first. I didn't. I waited till I tried all these different products and really not knowing what to do with these products until I got that curly, um, what they call a diva cut. Until I got that diva cut, my hair was like night and day. It's totally different from any haircut you've had before. You go in with your hair dry. Um, they don't wet your hair as they're cutting it. So you literally will go like this and they'll be trimming and shaping your hair. Now after they do that, they will go and do the whole diva curl process where they show you how to wash, how to condition, and how to style your hair. Everybody's hair is totally different, so that diva cut specialist should tailor with their product that they have for your hair, which will leave you with the perfect steps to follow as you continue your journey until you find the right products for you. Do keep in mind the prices do vary, but I've noticed in Miami the prices are about $120 for a full diva cut with the entire process where they cut, style, uh, diffuse, and even reshape again. Um, but once you have that one diva cut, you really don't need to go and have any, like, you don't need the full thing because you know what to do. What I do is I just go in for a, like a, what they call a dry cut. And what the dry cut is just you basically go in and they cut your hair as you would. You skip the diffusing process and the education process. So you just go in for a haircut. So instead of paying $120 to just get your tips refreshed, you may pay like 45 to 65 depending. But not all the stylists do that. So, you know, make sure you ask the stylist before you go. Step number two is leave the heat behind and, and protect your hair as much as you can so i'm talking about when you diffuse your hair try to use cold or warm or just go back and forth but don't use hot when you're washing your hair try to use cold water when you're drying your hair with a towel as you'll see in my video i use only a microfiber towel it doesn't have to be the diva curl towel it can actually just be like a regular microfiber towel if you don't have that you can use even a t-shirt, but you just wanna make sure that you don't use the towel. Um, another essential thing is when you're going to sleep, buy, that, uh, buy a silk bonnet or buy a silk pillowcase because that, um, that friction will break your hair and kinda of dull the shine if you don't have it. So you definitely wanna use something to protect your hair while you're sleeping. I like to use my bonnet even when I'm around the house because you know if you're laying on the couch or you're just like moving around, your hair is constantly touching your shirt and you don't want your, you want to protect your hair from any breakage at all costs. Step number three, okay, we made it to number three, washing and styling your hair. I'm gonna show you guys a clip of what I do with a little bit of a walkthrough, so I hope you enjoyed that. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do is buy a hair stopper, especially during this process. Most times people with curly hair wash their hair about one to two times a week. And um, like me, I do not brush my hair with a brush. I only use my fingers and I only brush my hair when I'm in the shower. So that causes a lot of hair to fall out. Don't be afraid. Um, it's totally normal, but you definitely want a hair stopper. So here what I'm doing is I am washing my hair with the No Poo, Con um, it's like a co-wash. What happens with this is that I like to only do my roots um, and maybe about a couple, like an inch below, but I do not go all the way through with my hair. Um, I just notice that my hair, um, my ends are a little bit drier, so I try to avoid that. And then when I condition is when I go the whole way through. So here I am rinsing it out. 
So the next step is to condition, which is my favorite part and most essential part. Whoever says that you need a quarter size of conditioner is a liar because when you have curly hair, you have to fully saturate your hair with the conditioner. Um, like me, I brush my hair in the shower, so I, you need as much conditioner as possible. I'm using the raking method here. I do this for about a minute to two minutes. Definitely take my time with it. I like to work the product in my hair as much as possible. I feel like you get the most benefits when you do this, um, especially focusing on my roots and my ends because that's where I, my hair is the driest. If I have time, the next step is going to be to deep condition my hair. Um, I like to use any of the three products that I show here below, but definitely the Garnier Fructis one is a minute in the shower mask. It's a really good one. Um, I only work from the hair shaft down to my ends. I do not work my roots, and I feel like this helps with your hair get as much volume as possible. Um, whenever I work the product in my roots, it gets too heavy, um, but definitely work it in and leave it on while you shower. The Diva Curl Melt Into Moisture is definitely a really good one, but it's about $36. So when I do this deep conditioner treatment, I like to keep it on for a minimum of an hour. Sometimes I'll leave it on all day, um, but that's just a tip for that one. So next, you're just going to leave the conditioner in your hair while you shower, let it do its thing. And, and the next step is going to be to style your hair and diffuse. So my product application does vary. Sometimes I'll start with the styling cream, sometimes I'll start with the gel, but today I'm starting with the gel. As you see in this video, I'm using the palming method, which you're kind of like praying hands as you're putting it in and then you're scrunching it up. That noise that you hear, when you're styling your hair, you wanna make sure that your hair is mopping wet and you wanna hear that sound. So next I have the styling cream. I don't apply this to my roots. I definitely work it into my ends, again, using that palming method. And then as you'll see, I use that scrunching method. I get individual strands when I can. One thing that I like to do is um, in the first step with the gel is get my roots. But with this one, I only use it on the hair shaft and um, I kind of just palm it in and work it in as much as possible. As you can see, my hair is going from sad, wet puppy to some more defined curls. So the next step is to go in with your t-shirt or your microfiber towel, take out all that extra moisture. And I like to wait about 15 minutes before I diffuse because I feel like air drying and then diffusing gives Whichever diffuser you want to use works just fine. I use a Diva Curl one, but as you'll see in this video, I interchange it with the one that comes with the blow dryer you will notice that this part takes a while especially if you're using only cold settings i like to lift my hair in certain sections and then um, that way that my hair gets the most i like to bend my head over that way i get um, as much volume in my roots as possible so yeah i mean it takes a while but believe me the end result is super worth it Oh my god, we're almost done. I feel like this has taken so long. I'm just kidding. Um, but this is my favorite part. This is the fluffing part. If you have a, t a comb, you want to really just work in your roots in sections, lifting up certain parts. That way your hair has as much volume as possible. And then you're going to use your hands to scrunch. After you diffuse, you should have what is called like a cast on your hair. And that cast is going to really prevent your hair from getting frizzy. So you want to go in with your hands and scrunch again and take it off. And if you have crazy baby hairs like me, you want to get either a toothbrush or this little brush that I have here it's my hubby's um, from when he had waves and just work your, your edges down or just leave them crazy whatever works for you so this is my end result um, my hair wasn't fully dry but I did want to show you guys the result and yeah I mean this will last me a couple of days I will refresh it and I will tell you how I do that in the next step Hair handbook. I can't tell you enough how much this book helped me, how much I really enjoyed reading it and learning about different hair textures and different tips and tricks. One of the things that I learned from this book was how to make your own water mist to refresh your hair and actually make it smell good. So it's this one right here. It's full of water, but I actually bought lavender oil and I kind of did like an infusion thing. So that's how I refresh my curls. And again, another tip and trick that I learned in that book. So what I love about this book is that it's all about embracing your curls truly growing into them and learning about them as much as possible. There's tips for kids, for kids that have curly hair, like something that I wish my mom had uh, when I was a kid because she had no idea. She really had no idea. Like she may have had curly hair, but you know, it was again back in that age where everybody wanted straight hair. So that was all that I knew. I like that it talks about different homemade things that you can do and um, things for kids. It even tells you how to cut your hair, how to identify your hair type. Um, so it's very informational. So these are the four points that I wish I had when I first started my curly hair journey. I feel like they would have helped me a lot. I really hope that they have helped you. And to all my curly girls out there, keep shining, keep growing. Every day is a different, you know, we gotta work with weather, with all that stuff to make sure that our hair looks as good as possible. It is not easy, but if you love it and embrace it, you will only grow and 
just have more self-love towards yourself. And to those of you just starting your journey, don't give up, push through, you will like, you will get to where you want to get. It is a process, but you will, if you are consistent, you will see the results. And I really hope this helped. I really do. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to continue to answer those. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up, a like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you.